Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the laptop's keyboard and mouse as if they were connected to your Raspberry Pi. This is a continuation to the use your laptop as a display for your Raspberry Pi video. To do this, we are going to be using Value, which is a fork of Synergy, a well-known mouse and keyboard sharing app. The app allows us to share the mouse and keyboard of one device with multiple devices. Value will require two components, a server whose keyboard and mouse are shared and a client who shares the mouse and keyboard. So here your laptop is a server computer and the Raspberry Pi is a client computer who shares the laptop's mouse and keyboard. So now that you have a basic idea of the working, let's take a look at the installation and setup. To install Barrier on your system, go to the link in the description which will bring you to this GitHub releases page. And here, install the EXE if you're using Windows, the DMG if you're using Mac OS, and if you're using Linux, you can probably install it with the help of your package manager like I did, or you can use Flatpak or Snap. I have already installed Barrier. Let me quickly open it. You will have to finish a small setup we have to choose your language and choose if you want to set up a server or a client. If you're using your laptop, click on server and click on finish to finish the setup. Once you have finished the setup, you will get this window. Here, click on configure server. Then, drag this monitor to any direction of this other monitor. So what this means is, if I drag it to the left of the monitor, I'll be able to control the mouse of the Raspberry Pi and I drag my mouse to the left end of the monitor. Similarly, if I place it on right, I'll be able to control the Pi when I drag my mouse to the right end of the monitor. It will be easier to understand if you think of it as a dual monitor setup where you can move your mouse across two monitors but you can't drag the windows or anything like that. Once you have placed it in the position you want, uh, click on it and name it Raspberry Pi and click OK and again click OK. If barrier is not running, click on start. If it is running, click on reload. And that's it. We are done on the laptop part here. Uh, one thing to remember here is to note down the IP address because we are going to need it later. Now let's take a look on how to install barrier on Raspberry Pi and how to set it up there. Installing barrier on a Raspberry Pi is as simple as opening up a terminal and running sudo apt install barrier. I am using Twister OS here, but you can also use Raspberry Pi OS. It won't make a difference. Once you have finished installing it, run barrier to open the app. You might have to finish your initial setup, but this time choose client. And as you can see, it has already detected my laptop and asking me if this is the one I have to connect to. Uh, we need to verify if the numbers here are same as the one on my laptop. But there are some times where the, it doesn't connect automatically. That time you want to uncheck auto config and you want to type your IP address in the server IP box. And once you did that, you want to type start. And you can see now it found my laptop. Uh, this IP address is the one we had noted from our laptop earlier. Uh, just make sure the letter and numbers here are same as the one on your laptop. And once you have confirmed that, click on yes. And that's it. Now you can use your laptop's keyboard and mouse to control your Raspberry Pi. One more useful thing to do is add value to auto start so that you don't manually have to start it every time you boot your Pi. To do that, open a terminal and first run mkdir dot config slash auto start and then run this one command and that's it. Now if I reboot my Pi You can see that barrier starts on boot. As you can see here, I'm easily able to move my mouse between my laptop and my Raspberry Pi. 
one handy feature is that they share a clipboard for example here if i have to install pi apps i have to copy paste a command so i can just copy it in my main laptop and paste it in my pi pretty useful right and that's it now you know everything you need to use a laptop as a display for a raspberry pi while using a laptop's mouse and keyboard to control it thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos